Hey, welcome to another edition of BeerAmerica.tv. Where the hell are we? What is this place? Well, funny you should mention that. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's a little bit of a different look for us. King's Landing. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> the King's so. Landing, yes. We'll get to this. We are at the brand spanking new Moon River uh, Beer Garden. Yes, right next door to Moon River Brewing. Uh, you turned a vacant lot into a beer garden, and it's awesome. Here it is. Here it is. In all no, glory. this is impressive. Yeah. It came out Very nice. Very impressive. Yeah. It came out nice. Yeah. This is really good. This is a slow night, incidentally. It's a yeah. slow night. And a little chilly. <laughs> now we have to fill too. it up with people. Right. So. That's yeah. Fair. But uh, no, this is this is really a great site. So if you come to Savannah, you really got to check this out. You can't miss it. It's right next door. Um, so we've got a very special beer. We've, we've uh, um, decided to uh, to be outside for this one in, in uh, because of the beer garden. So uh, Brewery Oma Gang, Bill Wetmore and, and the crew over there gave me um, a bottle of Game of Thrones Iron Throne Blonde Ale, which is a uh, commemorative beer for the HBO series Game of Thrones, which of course I do not watch, I'll admit it, you do not watch. But Peter Mara, who you have all seen before, who does the website, uh, BeerAmerica.tv, has These are seen Game of Thrones correspondents. So <laughs> Peter will speak intelligently about Game of Thrones, and John and I will try to speak intelligently about the beer. I have nothing intelligent to say about it that wouldn't give well, away the show that you guys just need to watch. Well, I... You need a cowboy up and just watch it. I've well, heard that there are swords involved. There are. Swords? Sword fighting? Swords. Is there sword fighting involved? Um, both both the figurative and the literal kind of sword fighting. All right, there we go. Um, okay, good. Mm. There's also, uh, you yeah, know, there's a, um, it's it's an adult series. I see. So, yes. All right. And so we shall have an heat, so we fun. shall have what an adult beverage to commemorate an adult, an adult series? series. Yes. Does that mean there's naked people? <laughs> Uh, so talk, talk, talk a little bit. Talk a little bit about the series. What I want to know is no. how does Omega Gang get a gig like this? I mean, that's a pretty cool. It's a great thing. marketing thing. And Bill Wetmore, who, who is uh, kind of the marketing guru for, for uh, Brewery Omega Gang uh, and Duval, he uh, he hooked us up with this beer so that we could talk about it. And uh, it really is, is a great thing that they're doing. I mean, uh, talk a little bit about the series. Well, it, it's you know based upon um, you know a series of books um, that I have not read. Um, and uh, it's, I, I guess you would call it medieval fantasy. Okay. Um, and you know, think of, uh, there's really nothing to compare it to. Lord of the Rings for adults, you know, I mean, whatever. It, it's, it really, it's got such fantastic, um, it's got such fantastic characters. Um, unbelievable acting. Uh, you know, it's won numerous Emmys so far. Um, and yeah. swords. And sword fighting. And yeah, sword fighting. All right. For those of you trying to channel your inner Douglas Fairbanks, uh -huh. Douglas Fairbanks would get his ass kicked in Game of Thrones. All right. So, so this is a Belgian blonde. Are there Belgians, um, by the way? No. No, no Belgians. Yeah, no. I think it's so. not. It's not a real place. Uh, so, ah. And there are dragons. Do you have ah. any dragon beer you can bust out? I, I will. beer that will give you dragon breath mm. the next day. I am. Um, I will admit, regardless <laughs> of the fact that they gave us this bottle to do, is that I'm a huge fan of, of Oma Gang and almost everything that they do. It and, smells um, really good. Yeah, and this has uh, grains mm. of paradise, a little lemon peel, a little spiciness to it. And I'm a big fan of Belgian-style ales. And um, uh, this is a Belgian blonde. They spell it B-L-O-N-D-E. And if my memory serves correctly, the Belgians spell it B-L-O-N-D in the French spell it B-L-O-N-D uh, and so that's the way this is spelled. Uh, see. So there you go. But it's, uh, I think it's, isn't it typically, uh, um, uh, it's kind of, it's kind of like a double in a sense, a Belgian blonde, would you say? Kind of double strength, a 6.5% uh, ABV. I don't know anything about beer. You don't? All right, well, yeah, that's true. You've been with us a long time and you know nothing about beer. I, uh, honestly, I don't, I don't know much about the Belgian blonde style. Yeah, and a lot of those Belgian beers can be kind of nebulous, uh, they, or not nebulous, but they they, they can range a uh, yeah uh, pretty broad. I just took my sister on exam, so I'm trying to like get it out right now. So ah, that's where it's coming from. How do you feel about Whitbeer? Shut up. <laughs> Never mind. Moving on. Um, what do you guys think? The nose on this thing is amazing. Yeah. I no, I like it 
a lot more, I think, than other Belgian blondes I've had. Just, it, it's really, it, it's a hint of the spice. Um, Can you speak to uh, Grains of Paradise at all? Or what they yeah, are? I've never used Grains of Paradise. Yeah, I know I mean, that uh, Sam Adams has talked about, uh, I think their summer ale uses Grains of Paradise, and I guess I should have done a little research about that. Um, I guess they're kind of peppery. Yeah, fruity, a little spiciness. Fruity, peppery. Typical Belgian fruitiness, spitiness, uh, spiciness. I would agree with Peter. The, the spicing is, is very subtle. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but Doesn't bite. The thing that always stands out about all the Omegang beers is that yeast character. Yeah. Just, that is a lovely yeast character. It really pops. And this is, um, you know, I think with any beer like this, you can't see it on the camera, obviously, but there is a, a little white coating of yeast at the bottom uh, of this just sitting there. And, and, you know, most people like to pour these uh, without them, and it's very actually very clear, um, you know. And then maybe at the end, you know, traditionally you would ask, you, would you like the yeast kind of poured in? And it would give it a bit of more of an earthy taste to it. Wouldn't you agree? If you poured the yeast in? Uh, I Haziness? Could. I could, oh, for yeah. sure, yeah. Um, I think actually the last beer I had before I left DC yeah. was a uh, Hennepin. Hennepin, yeah. It's delicious. Yes, it's very delicious. One of my favorites. Actually, our first beer blog was what Hennepin. Was yes, it was. Wow. Yes. Spooky. Hennepin and Paulo Santa Marone. Wow. Yeah. Some history. Five years ago, folks, 2008, first beer blog for Beer America on TV. And here we are at your beer garden. So Here we are. Yeah. Time flies when you're Time having fun. Time flies, <laughs> yep. Time flies when you're making beer. Yep. So, any, any crossover here with this uh, Game of Thrones at all for you, or is it... Uh... You know, it, it'd be a lot better if we had a dwarf available to us. Is there a dwarf? I, I got one. You, come here. Come here. <laughs> how, how about Mi this? Mini hey, Leon. It's a mini Leon. It's my dwarf. Lean down a little bit. There we go. All right, there we go. All right. Not so, quite as fuzzy as Peter Dinklage, but, you All right. Know. Okay. That's cool. So. Thanks, buddy. But my cameraman, by the way, for this. <laughs> Big budget production here. Big budget. Yes. <laughs> Only the pros. Yep. Makeup. <clears throat> so, where's my peanut butter? So, what do you think? Good? I love it. I, I think it's great. Yeah, I... I, I it's great. I could... What is the ABV on this? This is one of those things that I always... 6.5. 6.5, yeah. Deceptively mm -hmm. high. You know? I, I mean... I, you say high, but it's funny that, you know. High-ish. High-ish. For, for, getting... for a blonde. Yes. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Do we have a glass? Oh, there's a uh, mystery glass coming in. That would be the hand of John Pajoli. The wine guy. <laughs> for those of you who remember him, the wine guy. So we'll see what he thinks off the camera here uh, about this particular beer. Although you should be better if he was on camera. But what is he saying? And, uh... He's making I'm a not face. sure about that face. He's a wine uh, guy. What do you want? I think he was like, damn, this is good, is what oh, I got. Oh, is it out damn, this is good face? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's good. We're good with this. That's good. He's a wine guy. He's what a wine do? guy. I know. It's all right. So good. Well, thank you, uh, Bill Wetmore. Um, yeah, and, thank uh, you very much. Appreciate it. And Ashley also with the marketing department there, uh, who hooked me up pretty good with uh, with their beers uh, last time I was up in Cooperstown. And if you're there, they do this huge event uh, in July called Beer Comes to Cooperstown, which is like a camping festival. You know, totally like a Woodstock type event, which is all beer, food, everything. It's amazing. It's it's totally incredible. So, do they have swords? I'm sure there's some sword fighting going on of some sort. I don't know. All right. I don't know. They're uh, baseball. Isn't that something there's else? There's baseball. They do in yeah, they do. Baseball, but yeah. uh, I think Oma Gang's almost eclipsed. I mean, it's amazing the it's crowd that that brewery draws. Nowadays. Well, I just think that that brewery, <laughs> and if you've been online and you've seen the uh, you know the way it's built, I mean, it's it's beautiful. It's it just, is a beautiful it's, brewery. It's, it's, uh, and it's, a be it's in a beautiful part of the country. Very, no, yeah. great place. Yeah. Beautiful place. Yeah, it's quite the attraction there. You go, People go to the Hall of Fame, and then they go to Brewery Oma Gang. Thanks, y'all. Yeah, thank you. We Send appreciate more it. beer. Send more beer, or <laughs> I'll pick some up and bring them to Savannah. I'm okay right. with that either way. Uh, Paul at BeerAmerica.tv. Pink at BeerAmerica.tv. Uh, info at BeerAmerica.tv. No, I don't <laughs> tell them that. <laughs> no, I'm going to get spam. Yeah. No. All right, cheers. Oh, my God, Peter's gone. Yeah. Oh, I enjoyed it. Yeah. Mine's about to be